I'm one of the people that doesn't really like when teams do this unless they are considerably better than their opposition. Which has got the flash right on to Bang, and this should be the double stun and the big burst from Graves. First blood will come out the exhaust onto Wolf. Can they line it up? No. Wolf will get away. And finally, they did it. They set something up. They got a pick. <laughs> finally here at 15 minutes, Jen Air Green Wings gets the first one. Up in top lane, not going to be able to do anything. Ixu has Ninja Tabby and Sunfire Cape already, which is really interesting. And I think that's a, really a testament to just the flow of the game. Well, hold that thought. We're going to see the same burst damage come out onto Faker. This is kind of what you can do when you have Flash on Malzahar. And enough not a pick that he offers. Yeah going forward is, is too valuable. And Jenner Green Wings, they might lose their first mid turret of the game. And now SK Telecom. Okay. Baker picks up a kill in bottom. He might look to turn this around, but it looks like no flower. So much damage coming out of it, and eventually he does get that kill. So trades one for one. So that's a question. Well, they put in profit for a reason. Here he goes. He knocks up a bunch of the members, actually four of them all getting knocked up. But where's the follow-up? It looks like everybody else was kind of zoned out. Really nice uh, move there by Malzar to block the dredge line of Prophet. Still, though, on the run. The arrow gets onto Wolf. There's the smoke from Graves. They're trying to disengage as much as possible, but finally, Ixu bites the dust. No lockdown onto any of their members. There's the big burst AoE damage out of Victor. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> he wanted that 1v4 so badly, man. He, he almost that went back in. Now SK Telecom, they might turn their attention towards the Baron. They're thinking about it. They actually keep Jenner around oh, because of it. Could be a way to actually throw the game. <laughs> Kuzan, you can see that he's waiting. Right okay. around the corner, and collateral damage is still up for MT. This could get very dangerous. Peanut is extremely low. Yeah, and with Umti to... still alive, this oh. is really risky. Umti is running away, though. He actually takes the Blasting Plant away, but at the same time, SKT disengages from the back. Victor in the Graves, I think it's a lot more valuable than the Ezreal Syndra Rengar. Okay, well, here we go. Baron is getting extremely low. In comes Peanut for the jump, and he does not steal it. Goes over to Umti. The fight going down, Peanut actually does go down. Lots of low members here on Dinner Green Wings. The Redemption is very, very close to healing him up. Bang will die as well. Faker was extremely late to this fight. Finally, he does join on in, does blow his load onto the victor. And MT with that Edge of Night still is alive, but Prophet trying to get that last kill. He wants it so bad, but Faker will take it away. SK Telecom managed to when that fight was going on. Replay actually gets cut short. Not entirely sure why that is. And now in live, Snowflower doesn't he wants it. quite go down. Oh boy, he does kill Faker. He, he gives his life up. Must now spawn. And Uxu is here in the front. He's actively tanking for his team. Whereas Prophet, uh-oh, hold the thought. There is going to be the double ultimate used onto Wolf, and he will be burst down. And no QSS yet on Wolf means that he... I might have been off by a minute. It might be 38-13. I don't know. Well, here we go. Prophet TPing in. That dragon is getting extremely low. Ixu is going to be burst down, but it looks like Jinnair will pick up the Elder Drake. Peanut still alive, but two kills going over to SKT. Prophet now being kited back. Teddy and Umti stuck in the dragon pit. Teddy does have his flash. Umti jumps on over. Collateral damage does miss. And now SKT on the chase here. Faker taking a bit of damage. They're trying to kite as best as possible. Prophet, he wants that dredge line. Can he land it here? As Peanut goes for the red, and it looks like three members of Jin Air will back off. Jin Air trying to escort SK Telecom back to their base, and then they would use this to then gain control over their oh red side. Wolf, he might get oh. caught out again. Really nice huh? flash, though, to dodge the cask. The Redemption comes out, and the counter engage here from SKT. Snowflower will not get the heal. Profit coming forward, Ooh. knocks up. 
every single member. A huge ultimate there for Profit. And now Jin Air Green Wings is going to be routed. Double kill there for Bang. Kuzan and Empty on the run. Can they survive? No, not in the face of Profit. Is going to be locked down. Bang doesn't have his arcane shift. Are they actually not going to get Kuzan here? Bang, he wants him so bad. A little bit surprising, Bang. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Bit of a stun coming out, and Bang gets low, but still will pick up the kill. And that was the fight SKT was looking for. That was definitely that out, so. Here comes Profit to help out with the damage a little bit. Oh, they have to be a little careful. Collateral damage. Uh, Peanut? Oh no. Okay, uh -oh. he ulties away. Mm. Now they turn their attention towards this turret. Wolf gets hit. <laughs> Again, the collateral damage comes out. They will use the Nether Grasp as well. So Wolf is going to pay for that with his life. Where's the follow up here? Only two people knocked up by Profit this time around, and Ixu does survive. Redemption. That dance was that. They were losing the push up in top lane, but, and and that would be the lane in closest proximity. Oh man. Oh man, Teddy in the back. He's gonna be immediately burst down by Peanut. He zones out Kuzan. Everybody else on the Jinnair Green Wings is all alone. Big redemption here for SKT. MT will eventually die. And Peanut is almost 2 v one over here. Kuzan somehow does get away. Snowflower will go down. But now really it's find Kuzan and kill him. That's the play. Lane. Look at the death timers on Teddy, Snowflower, Umti, Cat and Mouse, literally. <laughs> as Kuzan, Kuzan is still trying running. to run. Oh, the speed boost from Karma. And finally, <laughs> the cat finds the prey and eats a very healthy dinner. That's going to be game number two. Finally, going over to SKT in about 51 minutes in a hard fought game. And SK Telecom finally able to close it out after. Such long dances with the gold lead. Didn't even need Baron or Elder right at the end there.